mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Okoro out there with Kevin Love. And it's Allen in at the five, go. patrolling the paint. And for the Hawks, Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Young is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at the center. Garland the pass to Allen. Inside. And Love with the basket on the assist by Allen. Love's got the game going here with the first basket for Cleveland. And his whole career. Kevin Love, a fantastic passer at that position. Great vision for a big man. You think about it, Greg. He's one of those players who you're kind of watching throughout the course of any game, and you're hoping for that kind of highlight. I mean, that's rarefied air if it's not a dunk, but we're waiting for a Kevin Love outlet pass that tells you it's special. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open, and that court awareness, he was able to get it to him. Young outside. And the layup's good off the glass. Young's got his second bucket. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Sexton. And that one, good. When you get physical like that, I don't think Sexton minds it all that much, able to play through it. And here's Atlanta. Young looking it over. The three-pointer, no good. Cavaliers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. And Sexton slams it in. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Young outside. Again, Young missing. Cavaliers have gone 4 of 4 to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Now, here's Okoro. Tight defense on him. With four seconds on the clock. And Allen with the layup. A superb offensive rebounder. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Back to the action after this word. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Hey. Why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, but that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire. But that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of them. Yes. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for Atlanta. On the wings, Herder and Reddish. Gallinari is out there with Okongwu. And it's Williams at the point guard. Reddish, another shot. No good on the layup. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. And Darius Garland picks up the foul. That's his first foul. The Hawks making a switch here. Snell's checked in. Prince is checked in for the Cavaliers. Here's Hurt. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Okongu's shot is good. He's so dangerous as a scorer. Lou Williams can recognize when there's openings. This time it was a teammate. And here is Garland. Get him, get him. 
Wade passes to Garland. A basket good off the assist from Wade. Garland's got the lead up to eight now for the Cavs. The Hawks have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Outside Williams. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. And Okonwu slams it in. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded by Williams. Just five to shoot. Pulls it up. And good. He got the English that time as it falls. Garland's got six points. Now the defense looked a little bit confused on that play as Garland moved nicely. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They have a solid eight-point lead. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? The difference to me has been their offense in the paint. When they've had a mismatch, they take full advantage. They're making smart entry pass, not trying to force the ball when the opening is not there. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Atlanta. To me, they look out of sync shooting the basketball. Up. And that's a wrap for our half. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Young with the ball. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with the coral. And it's Allen in at the center, locking down the middle. Shot clock at six. Here's Bogdanovich. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Bogdanovich has got the first field goal, the second half for the Hawks. Sexton against Bogdanovich. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Goes up from the top of the key. Rebound Atlanta. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. He's very smart about spotting up in transition, and no one rotated over to contest that one. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Garland, the pass to Love, got a piece of it. Young with the steal. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. The Cavaliers leading by three. Outside, Sexton. Down low. Here's Love. They get it again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Clint Capella. And his teammates love this. When Allen is aggressive trying to score, really puts pressure on the opposing defense. Cleveland shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76% right around the middle of the road. Two, two. First free throw is good for the Hawks. Reddish comes in for DeAndre Hunter. And Tony Snell subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Nancy's checked in for Cleveland. Osman comes in for Garland. Drops them both. 
Now he's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Sexton against Young. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Here's Collins. No good on the last second attempt there. The third quarter comes to a close. Cleveland ahead, up five. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter, what is still anybody's ballgame. Addition Collins at the small forward and powerful. Tony Snell is out there with the up. And it's Capella in at the five down low. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Sexton. And he uses the glass on the way. Toughness there shown by Collins. Sexton, no stranger to having to outmuscle the defense from time to time. Young outside. Outside Collins. There's Snell. Second chance effort. The kick out to Young. And at last, they get one to fall. Now the threat of Trey Young, we talk so much about gravity in the NBA. It's unlocking some other scoring options. Strong take. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Hunter's checked in for Reddish. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Tony Snell. Love's checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Jetty Austin. Atlanta calls timeout. They're down by three. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Jared Allen. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys, I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break. With this game in the balance, he really came after his guys. He said, this is our time. Right now, be in the moment with each other. Do your job, and I promise you, we'll win this game. Back to you. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Young drives in, money, and that shot brings them to within just one. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And you can see the mindset he has. When the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. So it's the Cavaliers now. And so they foul intentionally. He had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. Pretty exciting, the potential of Darius Garland. If he finds an offense that he can operate in, continue to be efficient. He's a guy that's going to keep improving. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Atlanta calls timeout. They're trailing by three. 15 seconds left to play here on the fourth. 
Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. You got to be smart here. 15 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Young. Yes! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And this young guy relishes the pressure, stepping up there, confident in the clutch. And now they foul and stop the clock. You have the foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Cullen. Marries the triple. And, oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And maybe not the first guy you think about. Collins in the clutch. Timeout called Cleveland. The score nodded at 24. Three seconds left to play in the final quarter. <laughs> Allen inside the three-point line. And really, this is the role of Capella. To come out, play that strong defense, and alter as many shots as possible. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ballgame. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. And it's the Hawks to start out. And so they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. Time out, time on the out. court for Cleveland. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Allen is out there with Kevin Love. And it's a Coro in at the three. Timeout called Cleveland. They trail by two. 50 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Dishes to Sexton. Pass to Allen. It's good. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Ties it up with that one. You know, he's such a smart scorer. He doesn't force anything. Let's the opportunities come to him. Timeout called by Nate McMillan. Donovan, that's for two, and the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Sexton against Bogdanovich. The shot by Sexton, no good. And here's Young, he'll bring it up for the Hawks. A two-point game. Here's Collins, and the rejection by Love. Points are an absolute must here. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul. This goes against Atlanta.
Good on the first, and that narrows the gap to one. And good on the second, so he makes them both. How fantastic was that? One mistake, and the game's over, but he gets it done. Atlanta calls timeout. With the floater, oh, missed it. And the Cavaliers call time here. One second left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Love for th oh, and he got it. Did that beat the buzzer, Kevin? Yes. Wow. Yes. Down it goes at the buzzer. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Man, I'm just blown away. Absolutely as clutch as you can get. People are going to be talking about that shot for a long time. So it's a narrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Yeah, probably. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Brett Barry.